Next up is my favorite Mormon surfer dude. <laughs> the very, very lovely Rachel Hersher from At Today's Mama and todaysmama.com. Please welcome her up. I've helped Karen identify Mormons when she needs to. It's with a gang sign. You throw it down for the M and then you turn it up for what ward are you in? <laughs> So for any of y'all, and Lara, Lara Mays is also an honorary Mormon. She claimed to be one once when she got pulled over in Dallas, and then she got busted because the cop was Mormon. <laughs> so for all of you who aren't, at least you know a gang sign that you can throw it down to anyone else here who is. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm the only one traveling with this mic tonight because I am like Will Ferrell on Talladega Nights and I need something to do with my hands. Um, what we're talking about a lot tonight is changing perspective. That's the theme of this evening and everybody's different perspectives. And so I find myself in 2012 realizing that I have had a business for eight years. Um, I started in 2004, so this is the view eight years in. So there's a moment that happens, and it happens to all of you or you wouldn't be here today, where lightning strikes in your soul, and you know that there's something you need to do, whether it's start a blog or a business or change something. So what you do is you craft a plan. You plan it, you work it, you fly it. You have to begin with the end in mind. A lot of us begin accidentally or haphazardly, and sometimes we need to step back and say, Begin with the end in mind. Where do I want to go? What do I want this to be? Now, a lot of us hold back on what we want to do because it's not quite perfect yet. It's not perfected. Well, we started as a publishing company, and our first book, the spine of the book cracked. There were typos. The cover would rub off over time. And we just had to do it and ship, uh, ship it. We sold 15,000, and the next edition was a whole lot better. So we embraced change. It looks scary, but it's not. You, it's going to take you in the right direction. Change is there to guide you, and it's always going to be there. So just get ready to give it a hug. Now, in this space, one of the things I think with our businesses is some of them start accidentally. Some of them start from a blog. But it's important that we do business. We put on our business socks, fly to the Concord. Um, it references. <laughs> And we do business like we should. We have contracts. We do things. We, we give presentations. We do things professionally so that the people we do business with can have faith in us and our abilities. Um, another thing I've learned is to invest in value. Invest in things that will save you time and money. So whether that's having someone else do your bookkeeping, invest in it. Watch the show. That little guy, my stick figure, that's an overcoat. He's a flasher. So when people show you who they are, believe them. The good and the bad. This goes beyond words and intentions, and this is about actions, and people will show you. In every business, a little crazy must fall. It might be a crazy time of the year, crazy people you meet, um, your crazy mother-in-law, crazy life circumstances. Remember that dog in Funny Farm? 80s, somebody? He goes out to the field, and he just keeps running. You're never going to outrun crazy. So you need to keep crazy at bay. Set a perimeter. Crazy might still chew down a few of your favorite trees. It might get your chickens in the night. It might hurt a little. But you can protect your little home and keep crazy at bay. And sometimes crazy is yourself. It's your own crazy energy that you need to send out to the field. Under promise, over perform. That is one of the best rules you can live by. And you will always have people happy. And remember, in social media, at least with clients, it's about making people look good. So if you can send someone back from an agency, making their client look really good, you're even better, which ties into managing expectations. They're the root of all frustration. So make sure that you promise things that you can deliver on. Um, do something random. How many of you are here for the first time tonight? This is random. And if you've been here for three years, where else are you going to go? Because that's where the serendipitous things happen where you meet new people and new things happen that change your path and show you where you're supposed to be. I was a telemarketer in college. Who do you hate more than a telemarketer? <laughs> After every call, you would know what you needed to change next time to make them keep you on the phone. So high five rejection. It's there to teach you. It's there to refine you and show you how to do it better. At that same job, the CFO would say, that which can be measured can be improved. And it irritated me because we had to fill out so many reports. But the things that you measure can be improved. You'll find that you're wasting your time on some things, like maybe your clout score, and there's other things you could focus on. Um, find your routine. How many of you work from home and blog from home? It's tough. Your routine always changes. So remember, it's going to change. School's going to get out. Kids will get sick. Your life circumstances will change. You need to adjust. 
Listen to resistance. Anytime I've talked, I think I've always talked about this. There's a quote by Laird Hamilton about how a river never runs straight. It always curves with the landscape. So this girl can get stuck on the sandbar because that's where she thought she wanted to be or move with the river. And then be optimistic. Always keep going. An elephant in a hot air balloon <laughs> might seem difficult. And sometimes you might feel like that elephant where things are moving slow. But you're still moving. And even if you come back down, you're still going somewhere. You're just changing your course like the river. So in this room, you might see competitors. You might see friends. You might see bloggers that you think are taking some of your page views and you wish that, and you're thinking there's not enough for everybody. But there is. Um, there's an infinite number of page views and access to be had out there. So remember that the people in this room are your allies. Now, Conan looks like he's wearing a pencil skirt, but I'd, he's just a stick figure with long legs. <laughs> so if you work really hard and you're kind, amazing things will happen. This man's got a lot of wisdom and he looks really good in jeggings. Um, <laughs> so that's all for me tonight. That's my journey in business for the last eight years and some of the most important things I've learned. And from here, we're gonna hand off to Tracy Clark. <laughs>